Mindfully Frugal Mom, Sarah White joins us now. She always has such great advice on how to save money. And this one I am particularly interested in because I do love going to farmer's markets. Mm -hmm. And I've often wondered, do you save money by going there versus going to the grocery store? Right. Well, the answer is yes, I think so. But you need to have some strategies when you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so my first strategy is, and this is totally counterintuitive to when you're at the grocery store, but I say ditch the list. Get rid really? of your shopping list. Okay, why is right. that? Well, because when you have a list, sometimes you're you're married to this idea of what you're going to buy, and that might not be what's either seasonal or on sale or what farmers have an excess of at this time of year. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I would go, take a lap or two, sort of see what's out there, and then just get what's the most seasonal. Like mm -hmm. right now, um, maybe you had bell peppers on your list. You're going to make a pasta salad or something. That's not really, um, like, a pr it's not a prime time for that right now, but asparagus is super plentiful. Mm -hmm. oh. So maybe you say, okay, well, I can get this bunch of asparagus for really cheap. I'm going to get that, roast that, chop that up, put that in my pasta. I, I see, see And you saying. can change something right. like that. Those exactly. can be interchangeable. So be open-minded is what you're saying. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Right. Don't, and don't be afraid of getting something that maybe you're not, that familiar mm -hmm. with okay like maybe they know how to make it though too they'll give you advice on how to they, make, they okay. totally will talk to the yeah. farmer they'll give you advice and also um there's pinterest so ah, like you yes. know it's there's resources what do I do with this right. pound of you know whatever exactly. they'll tell you right like rhubarb is is really plentiful right now i see rhubarb oh. everywhere and it can be a little tricky to cook with but it's not really that hard to mm -hmm. you know just look up a couple recipes yeah. you can freeze it Strawberry um, rhubarb pie. That's so good. Ooh, that's so delicious, delicious eating right yeah. there. Yeah. Good thing is it doesn't have any sugar in it. <laughs> uh. Okay, here's here's a big question. Yeah. Is it okay to bargain, to, uh, to like try and cut a deal? Yes, but you need to do it, like I said, strategically. First of all, if I'm going to bargain, I'm going to do it later in the day because that's when you have to make it a mutually beneficial right. transaction. You mm -hmm. know, these are people. You're not, it's not like you're in a big box mm -hmm. store. These are people and this is their livelihood. So um, when you're bartering, you go at the end of the day, you say, okay, you know, what do you have extra of? You know, I have $10. What can you give me for $10? You know, before you pack up and go it. home. Mm. And then that sort of puts the ball yeah. in their court. And then maybe they'll be more apt to give you a good deal or throw some extra things in. Um, well, they don't want to have to throw stuff out either. Exactly. So why not sell it, make a profit, and then you take it home and you do something with it. Exactly. You know, and, and, and save it. How do you keep stuff, um, I know that spoiling, because it's fresh, right. doesn't have a lot of, you know, preservatives or any at all. Right. You're talking fresh produce. Right. How, what's your strategy for making sure it gets eaten and it's not ending up in the trash? Right. Well, if I go to the farmer's market, I make sure I don't have any plans for immediately after because you have to bring it home and you have to do stuff with you gotta it. Prep like, it. If you have, you know, 20 pounds of strawberries, mm -hmm. which I've done before, I've gone to the farmer's market, gotten all these strawberries, been like, oh, darn, like. Mm -hmm. What do I do with it? So I got to do something or they're all going to go to waste and that would be terrible. So um, if you have, make sure you have the freezer space. I, you can freeze almost anything. Um, make sure you have that space. If you're going to freeze, you're going to can. Mm -hmm. If you have someone you can give them away to mm -hmm. or, you know, trade yeah. with a friend. Yeah. That's good. Do you like this option going to the farmer's market every week versus a CSA? I, I'm always on the fence about that. Yeah, you know, I've done both. I've done a CSA every year for the past five or six years, and I also supplement it with going to the farmer's market. I yeah. think it depends on your individual family, how much you eat. Right. If you're very adventurous and you have a lot of mouths in your house to feed, I think a CSA is probably the way to go because... It's a time saver right. too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. no, that makes sense. But I think if there's just, you know, a household of one or two, a CSA might be kind of tough, especially if it's two um, super busy working people and you don't yeah. have time to prep and do all that. Farmers yeah. might get All right. Mm -hmm. Mindfully yeah. frugal mom. Thank you so much, Sarah. Always Thank a pleasure. You. Great, Sarah. Good